finesse two times, distance himself. He didn't want to be at that party because he knew. He knew something was going to happen and he knew he was on papers. Finesse two times, he was out on early release due to Jay Prince Jr. And for Boosie to even try to get anybody up in this. We know Finesse two times spoke out and he said that Boosie shouldn't have never had that boy at that party, regardless of what's going on. Boosie knew for a fact for the next two times, one going to take no disrespect under no circumstances if it ain't about commas or punctuations. We sat back and saw how for the next two times got out. He took off. Boosie looked at him like, man, come on, man. You ain't got to be taking off like that. It was just a joke at first, but then it turned into, like, jealousy. And then a lot of people sat back and said, like, if J. Prince Jr. would have never had finesse two times around Boosie, they would have never got into the scuffle. And people sat back and said that J. Prince Jr., he was realized was supposed to break it up. He saw Tootie Raw instantly. He told him, like, man, y'all don't need to be doing this to my daddy. My daddy ain't doing nothing to neither one of y'all. And the reason y'all even coming at my daddy is because of what he going through and had people running his name through the mud. People sat back and said that Boosie let Duke the Jeweler came to that dice game and finesse two times. He know that he would have been there. He would have been there if he wasn't on papers. He know this. And people sat back and really thought finesse two times ain't had nothing to do with it. He didn't. But he know once J. Prince Jr. came back, J. Prince Jr. told finesse two times everything that went down with Duke the Jeweler. And you know Finesse two times, he rocked with Chicago hard. People sat back and thought it was a game. You really can't do that. Y'all saw what just happened when Finesse two times paperwork got leaked. That ain't stopped nothing because Finesse two times continued doing what he had to do. And people still was hating on him. Boosie and Finesse two times can't be in the same room with each other. People sat back and realized, thought that they was going to finish the song. They weren't able to even finish the song because Finesse two times got too irritated by the way Boosie was handling and walking around. Y'all already know, when you in somebody else's studio, you can't call no shots. You can't move around how you usually move around in all these other people's studios. Boosie don't get down like that. Boosie got too many people who with him. Boosie got too many people watching. Whenever somebody who ain't with Boosie Camp, anybody who ain't from Louisiana come out there, this is when Boosie instantly have his people get on point. This is why Tootie Raw kept walking back and forth pacing. People thought that it was going to real live, like, result in finesse two times. Instantly getting put out the studio, but it led to them instantly. They got into a little scuffle. They broke it up. Once J. Prince Jr. instantly told him, like, man, we got to make this money, Finesse. You got to calm down, Finesse. Tried to put everything on Finesse two times. This is why Finesse two times left and hopped in the bulletproof truck. People sat back and thought that it was a game when Finesse two times distanced itself from J. Prince Jr. and Mob Ties affiliates. We know for a fact for next two times, he got a lot of people in his corner. And he, he from Memphis. He's not from Houston. People keep forgetting that. People know for a fact that for next two times and money bad, yo, go back a long way. They go back even farther than when they even started beefing. They was cool at one once upon a time. Boosie set up Duke the Jeweler, and here's why. I'm about to tell you the main reason why he even had them do it. It was because of Flexia. Flexia came out. Boosie can't have too much liquor. Once Boosie get drunk, he started thinking about his old ways on how he used to have Marlo Mike to go catch bodies for him. So he was living back in those times. Everybody sat back and thought Boosie was the only one who didn't know Duke the Jeweler, but he was the only one taking pictures with Duke the Jeweler, and he was right behind Duke the Jeweler's neck blowing the whistle. Everybody saw Blue, Boosie blowing. He was he was telling Shorty to be on point. So once Duke tried to get up out of there, as soon as Duke the jeweler saw Boosie 
kept making signals to the people who was there that he barely knew. Duke the jeweler, he asked Boosie to go to the back room. Once Duke the jeweler went to the back room, Boosie, he made sure two of the shorties followed him. But Boosie told the shorties, act like y'all his security. And this is what made Dude real life put his guard down. Duke the jeweler, he looked at shorty them and he said, oh, okay, y'all with Boosie, y'all fine. He didn't want nobody knowing what was in that bag. Once Boosie saw that Duke the jeweler was vulnerable and he had his guard down, this is where Boosie told J. Prince Jr., hey man, you think you'll be able to cover me if I had shorty them to run up on him and take everything? That's when J. Prince Jr. was like, I don't want no parts. Uh, this is why Boosie even spoke out and said, yeah, he just came to the concert. He followed us there. And the only reason he said he followed them there was because he knew Duke the Jeweler was there on his accord. He was there on his itinerary. People, <clears throat> people sat back and thought that Boosie wasn't going to put his, like, real life, put his guard down like he did only for Boosie. He was supposed to make Boosie a piece, and that's the only reason he was even out there. He ran off with the money. It was 20K that was in the side pocket of the Louis bags. People thought that the Louis bags was empty. No, they didn't have his clothes in it because his clothes was at the hotel. And this is coming straight from Houston. And what's done in the dark always comes to light. People sat back and thought that Boosie was going to realize sit back and play it cool and not speak up, you feel me, about it. Boosie already said what he had to say. Once Boosie came out and said that he be having Shorty Nim to go take the charges for him, having Shorty Nim to take the jury for him, this is where you really have to pay attention because Boosie, he exposing himself. You can't expose yourself when you sit out there real life as a public figure and you know you know for a fact people don't want you getting yourself in this situation but rp duke the jeweler if y'all new to the channel hit the like button subscribe to the channel because duke the jeweler he passed away at an untimely demise in houston and boosie he said that dude ain't never come to the dice game but he was there at the dice game people saw him go to the concert once he went in the park a lot this is where they proceeded to snatch his chain. Duke the jeweler, he was only visiting to make a piece for Boosie. He only wanted to make Boosie the little pendant in the chain. People knew he was coming out there for Boosie. And everybody who went out there on the plane with Duke the jeweler, they went back to the crib and said, the GDs ain't finna play no games because you know how well respected Duke the jeweler is on 95. You feel me? On 93rd. People already know how it is out there. And people know for a fact. Shout out Chicago, man. Let me know where y'all from in the comment section. I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on, man. I just wanted to bring this news to y'all. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel.